Welcome to another episode of Game Dev Unchained, the number one game development podcast about game development and the lifestyle thereof. I am your host, Brandon Pham. And with me, it's that time of the month. Ray Graham, how you doing, Ray? What's up? How you doing? I'm here. I'm here. All right. If you guys haven't read the title, yes, this is the Roundtable News, where you get the latest and greatest game dev news from the latest and greatest game devs. All right. As always, these are opinions of our own. Do not try to sue us. All right. Or at least Ray. All right. Come at me, dog. All right. Well, Going well, into well. it. All right, Ray. Uh, so it's been a while. Actually, a lot have happened. But let's kind of Benjamin button this and work from the latest. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like a month and a half. Uh, an old flame. All right. We're talking about Ubisoft. Oh, wow. <laughs> Straight out of the gate. I mean, you uh, starting with that. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to start with yeah. that. There's a lot yeah. to cover, right? I mean, Star Wars Outlaws. I myself was kind of looking forward to that game. And it kind of fell completely flat. Um, there was a lot of controversy uh, surrounding the, the the main character. If you're on social media, you're, you see like the voice actor who is beautiful. And then the game character <laughs> who is not as beautiful. Let's just keep it like, wait, what, say it nicely. Which, which Star Wars Outlaws. Star oh. Wars Outlaws, right? I will say, some people will say, bugly. But I will say not as good, right? But like the gameplay itself, at the core, at the end of the day, it was buggy as shit. I saw actually a, a meme today where they were showing Assassin's Creed, the um, Black Flag from 2014 AI system where the guy was hiding in the brushes and the, the, the AI character was like straight up like, stop hiding in the brushes. I see, you, you know, straight up. Sure. And then they in a side by side comparison with 2024 Star Wars Outlaws. And it was like I mean, straight up solid snake. Right. When you're hiding yeah. in the bushes within two seconds, they were like confused. And, and, and so these are the type of books that unfortunately have become synonymous with AAA gaming, day one, patch, whatever, right? It's like, what is going on? How did we go backwards with something that they have seemed to have figured out 10 years ago with the same exact franchise, right? Oh, well, similar That's franchise. It. No, sorry. At all. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm skipping ahead to the Yasuke part of this talk, right? Oh, all right, so, so I'll go to, I'm going to outlaw wise. It's, it's a, a different team. The different team. Different team. I, I think it was even done in a different engine. Black Flag was done in um in Anvil, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And I think Outlaws is using Snowdrop. Right. This so, is the like, division team. Or well, the studio that well, delivered. Them. Well, no. No, not um, even. Like Snowdrop engine is an engine that they use all across all across um Ubisoft these days. And so like maybe. Some folks that worked on the division is have helped out on it, but 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 in some cases it's a completely new team. Just here's the engine, here's the snowdrop engine. Go and make your game with it. You, you know that's how Ubisoft has always worked, right? Like these these teams work in silos with 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 um, branches of the engine, and they make you know they did that. There's multiple branches of Anvil that have made multiple different Assassin's Creed games and other games. Um, there's the LED, the LE. Not the L. I guess it was called lead, the lead engine, which was yeah. used for a splinter, splinter cell, right? So, so you know, that's just how they work, right? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, like some feature from a million years ago didn't make it into Star Wars Outlaws. Yeah, yeah. of course, because you know the, the realities. They're, one, they're not using the same code, and two, the realities of development. You know, you try, you're just people. trying to get, you're just trying to get that game to work at all. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I well, the the troubling thing was that, yeah. you know, at least for this year, when Ubisoft kind of kind of laid out what the uh, outlook was going to look like, right? They only had yep. two major games as kind of like the tent pole, and I yep. would say they had a very successful. Um, what you, what do they call them? Uh, they're, they're they're like their own kind of E three show, right? Um, oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, Ubisoft look forward or whatever. So they they, they basically had uh, Star Wars Outlaws, which was awesome. I, no. I thought it was the demo looked no. great. 
No, you didn't no. like it. Okay, you saw, no. you smelled the bullshit from the beginning. Yeah, like it was like what they, sh- you know, what they initially showed was like you know a can thing to show at these these trade shows, right? Super. But when they target, yeah, but yeah. and then when they did like they did like a walkthrough thing, like a little bit later, I was kind of like, <sighs> you know, yeah. like at the, in this day and age, you're gonna make a good looking game, right? Like graphics yeah. wise, it's gonna look pretty decent. Um, but then what I saw was just the same old thing in in. The star wars skin you know pretty rapper yeah 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 and so i was just like i don't know i don't know i was i was tempted to buy it um yeah. numerous times i was like yeah I'll, I'll like check it out i know some people working on it and stuff but um but overall i was just like it just looked very meh yeah. to me it's like, like the it's the system. formula yeah the formula it's it's you know it's a formula that they that they follow you know yeah and and this just didn't looking inspiring to me but of course it is the name star wars on it so you know star wars star wars is having a rough decade <laughs> like it, it's not having a good last 10 years uh, unless you have respawn you think disney, you think disney thinks that <laughs> i think disney is having some trouble trying to make these uh movie projects uh show projects mm-hmm. uh and, and then outlaws was supposed to kind of help right with the branding <laughs> and I, I think out of all the major brandings uh star wars is definitely having a hard time like even marvel had a dip right sure right in yeah. terms of the movies but like there were some good movies in that yeah. post end game <laughs> I, guess, I mean, you're talking about Spider Man. You're talking about, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I feel you're good. Saying, when you say hard time, you're just talking about less than stellar quality affairs. Perception. Yeah. Yeah. But what what I interpret that as is like, I, I think Disney is still counting the money the same way. I think all the people that are complaining, they definitely made a profit going, off of their sale. Going, no matter yeah. what, they're like, oh, it's Star Wars. I want to go watch, or it's Star Wars. I want to maybe plug into Disney Plus. Let me yeah. give Disney their Disney Plus money and let me watch this thing from front to back and then say it's yeah. garbage. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know? No, right, they so have, like, they have, a, it's a strong IP. Like, it's super yeah, yeah. Uh, redeemable. Let's say yeah. that. There's never, the flame will never go out. Like, there's always going to be hope, right? A new hope that it actually won't be shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, yeah, sure. But, uh, like, even, what was I doing? Um, so the games, the show, uh, this latest game is definitely a fail. Um, but I was watching Dune, right? I watched Dune recently. Dune 2. Mm, Dune 2. Oh, that was part 2. Part yeah. 2, right? And I was like, yeah. man, this is what... I mean, I know Star Wars was originally inspired by Dune, right? The books. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. like in terms of like the cinema, right? Yeah. Obviously, it's been quite updated versus the original. I was like, this is what Star Wars should have went in this direction, right? I mean, they kind of went with that with Rogue One and mm-hmm. even the TV show, that serious one was like, oh man, yeah. that, that I like the dark underbelly yeah. uh, world of Star Wars. But the movies, it's like so, I guess, Disney-esque. Like everything's super saturated. It's definitely aimed at, which is fine, always to kids, right? <laughs> But it's, like, it's fine. but yeah, but, but like, to make money, it's fine. But Dune Two made me realize, like, man, Star Wars is such a rich universe. Like, they can do so many great things to it. And Dune Two was like, wow, this is what it should have been. Like the the latest movie franchise, it should have went in this direction. I gotta watch it. I gotta watch. It. I haven't watched Part Two. It's yet. super. It's it. It really it completes the first movie, like in my opinion, and it just. It's such a simple story that they're telling, but it's so effective in 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 the setting, in in establishing the people. Um, like there's like obviously lately there's been like this movement, like oh you can't tell a good story without a sh- you know watching a whole thirteen hour show or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But then Dune Two kind of made me realize like this is why you love movies. You just like the challenge of condensing that story in three hours in a sitting there's a there's an art form to that it's the same thing as like oh you gotta you gotta read game of thrones three thousand pages uh versus just reading a poem right there's something poetic about the movie art form it's like it's there's a reason why it's like condensing this kind of two three hour art uh uh window but and dune part two kind of made me 
kind of realized that again, like this is a non-Marvel movie and it feels super epic, right? I was like, man, mm -hmm. it kind of brings me back to like Gladiator. Uh, you know, those that era of a type of movies, not gladiator mm. too. I don't I don't know what to think about gladiator. I hope it does well, but I, like I'm not <laughs> I don't have my hopes about that, man. It looks it's like why does Denzel sound the same <laughs> like back in uh, ancient room? What's going on here? Denzel sounds the same in every movie. Yeah, but, no, but, but like but, at least but, try, but, um, you know. No, no, man. but um, you know, I nobody I I am a huge gladiator fan. Yeah. And even I was like, I was like, yo, these images Why are they look making dope. Two? Yeah. I was like, these images look dope though. The art. Oh yeah. The, the it's really Scott. Yeah. It's, it's looks, he's looks, like baseline Ridley Scott. Yeah. Looks dope. Right. But then I was like, I was not sitting around here saying I need to see a, a gladiator too. There's no, there's no reason, no there's, reason for it. There's two, there's two yeah. emperors now, right? The twins. And it, it yeah, totally no, no. like took, you no, know, no, back no, no, no. like kind of like yeah. back to the future formula where they just replace. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, there's no need for that. No need. Yeah. But, you know, it's one of those things where it's like a, it's a Ridley Scott film where he can have yeah. hit or misses. Right. But there's a baseline mm -hmm. of quality always. And it's like, ah, you got to give it a chance. But <laughs> yeah, Outlaws completely. I mean, they officially said that it was a huge disappointment. Right. Financially. Um it did not do well in, in terms of sell expectations at all. Um, mm -hmm. There's uh, yeah. go ahead. No, I said I was agreeing. Yeah. 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 And, and this kind of followed. I think the last time we talked about Concord, like falling flat on its face mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. shortly after it totally did. <laughs> I mean, I think this is worth mentioning just kind of like an update. All right. I know, you know the listeners out there are, are holding on to their computers <laughs> and, and tablets, like waiting for us to say something right for this past month and a half or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, Concord. Is so bad that they actually are refunding people, right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't seen that happen for years. I mean, I, what was the last time that happened to a game where they went on sale for two weeks and then like, you know what, my bad, uh, no, here's your money it's back. Happened, it's happened before, but I don't think it's ever happened that fast. I, I have to say it's like an EA game, probably. Yeah, right? yeah. It was, it was, there was, I've seen it happen before. And I think that's the right way to approach things if you're just going to go straight back to the drawing board, you know? Um, it helps with the branding, I, Sony. That's, brand, yeah, sure. yeah. And, well, and that's what I expect, right? Like, I expect that to go straight back to the drawing board. And because they didn't necessarily say, oh, we're just going to close up shop. You know, it seemed like they were just going to try to take another swing at it, right? That's that's what, at least what it sounded like. Right? They're going to close at least three quarter of the shop. <laughs> There's, yeah. no way. <laughs> There's no way. They're... I mean, yeah. I think they, uh, the creative director of that game got demoted pretty hard. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The guy's never going to see a whiteboard ever again. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so you can't fail that part. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, the, the main thing that I was disappointed, I mean, it's games, right? Super hard to make. We all understand. But the response from the devs was so disappointing. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you know, the devs, um, from the moment they showed the uh, early uh, preview, mm -hmm. Right. People yeah, were yeah. saying like the character designs whack, all this stuff, what's going on. Right. And mm -hmm. they're like, oh, just wait to see, man. Just wait and see. You know, don't, don't, don't count us well, down. I mean, right? I, mean, I was like, what, what do you think? What, are we in a movie? Like, what, what you, <laughs> I mean, what's going not, on? That's not the, that's not just brain at all. Right. I, I think like when you're making something, you got to have faith and belief in the vision that you're, you're trying to make. Right. Yeah. Yes. You can listen to the community. Yes. You can work alongside the community and, and, craft the game to what they want right but also sometimes you also have to be like this is what we want to do you know what i mean um and so like and 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 i'm a firm believer as as i think anybody with any sort of scruples should be is that you shouldn't judge things until they're done um to be judged right so um so like all of those things there i don't find it disappointing right because yeah. they had a they had a vision that they wanted to execute on right and then here come a bunch of yahoos and let's be real let's just be real right like yeah working working with the community is great and and you should do that as a game developer 
half of those, no, sorry, 99% of those opinions are garbage and invalid and just some nonsense that you shouldn't listen to. Right. And then there's like 1% of it that you're like, oh yeah, that's a dope idea. Or that's something that you could grow. Right. Um, maybe there's different ways you could communicate that feeling and, and just make people feel like you're listening to them. <laughs> right. Right. But I will say, time, yeah, you got it. Sometimes you got to just deliver on your vision that you have, you know what I mean? Having a vision and sticking to it, there is something respectful about that. But the mm -hmm. messaging, you know, it was like insults being thrown from the devs. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. Like straight up saying you're an idiot or being blocked, right? And I get well, I would, it. I would that, well, I'll block if if you. That's the other thing about this, right? Yeah, you could have a, you could disagree, you could have you could have um, opinions about things, but if this was getting blocked on Twitter, if this is Twitter, we all know Twitter's not the bastion of intelligence and and uh, and niceness, right? It's just pure toxic behavior and nonsense on there. And if you're, especially if you're in the middle of shipping and crunching to finish a game, the last thing you want is some DMs from Yahoo's on Twitter. Yeah. Talking, talking out the side of their neck and talking reckless. Yeah, you, you're going to get blocked 100%. You're going to get blocked if you start talking crazy. Right? I get, like, yeah. You know, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. the general kind of response <laughs> and feeling right but maybe i'll say this concord is maybe not the hill to die on <laughs> because well yeah so we, I mean, I will, yes, let me get some yes, stats let me throw yeah. some stats right so they spent 200 million dollars on that game before sony took over right there's some 400 million yeah and then sony saw the state of the game and it's like there's no way we can ship this as of now it's not ready and they spent another 200 million dollar after purchasing the studio that is an insane amount of fail, right? Uh, well, oh, hold on. If okay, if the game was successful, everybody would be like, "Oh, you only spent four hundred million." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that is like one in a, but, a but trillion of an IP. Yeah, yeah. the game. Flops, I, I will yeah. never everybody bet on that. <laughs> that is no, a no, bad every, stock to bet on. Yeah, everybody, everybody flops. It flops. Everybody's like, "You spent four hundred million." Man, Destiny five hundred million. Like, like there's so many games out here, especially yes. at this at this level. Yeah. The amount of money is eye watering, right? And so, um, I'm not too shocked that that, and especially the length of time that it's been, it was in development. I'm not shocked at all that they that they were just blown. I that much well, I, I I don't. I'm 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 sharing this message mostly yeah. because nobody should be shocked. That it <laughs> it failed miserably. There were so many corpses in its path of oh, development man. before shipping. It's like Sony saw it and it was like, "What is this? What do we spend our money on?" I mean, and then Sony they doubled died, down right? and they doubled down. Right? Yeah. That that is insane. Right? It's like <laughs> because by that point it was like not just a year in development. It's not something that you went off and you showed me a prototype. They were talking about two plus or even three years or four years. I looked at uh, in development was, of that game. Like that. Yeah, like it was that. pretty long. Right? Four yeah. years and two hundred million, and you're looking at this, and they like, you know what? I'm not sure how I feel about this. And then someone turned to each other and like, hey, let's buy this studio and spend 200. Like, what is going on, you know, at that mm -hmm. table to like, but you know, you it, it was so many games right? got passed up because of that. Right. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't I would I would say that because during that time when everybody was buying up everything, it was COVID. Everything, yeah. everything was getting bought. Like everything. Money was free. Remember? I know. I, I looked at it all the time. Man, dude, I was like, I listened, man, four years ago, if I could have a time machine, I, <laughs> I was like, just make some shit up because yeah. that was a time. It was a money grabbing time because that was yeah. the type of thinking. It was like, we have mm -hmm. spent 200 million on this. I have seen nothing. Let's spend 200 million more, right? And then, you know, on the we, road to delivery, it, it was yeah. like just bad reception all the way. Yeah, uh, but you, you know, like we talk about, you know, you know the game, the, the, the players didn't get a good game. Everybody hated the game. The, the devs didn't listen and, and yeah. they had a bad time. And now the game's no longer being sold, right? But like, nobody, like, I, I think. Few people have mentioned there is somebody at Sony, yeah. at Sony's acquisition, 
uh, acquisition and merger team that messed up and is feeling terrible. It's feeling he's terrible. Like, that guy should be. That guy's they, gone, dude. <laughs> he's living yeah, in a band yeah, like, down the river, yeah, dude. What are you yeah, talking who, about? <laughs> yeah, whoever that is is having a bad time. You know what I mean? So yeah, that account manager definitely yeah, uh, yeah. completely failed at his job, right? Yeah. Um, but <laughs> you know, th- just to kind of give that closure. Since nobody's talking about Concord anymore. Um, the funny thing after that release is I saw a bunch on LinkedIn and uh, of artists, art directors, right? I guess there's a lot of out of work art directors on LinkedIn now spending the time just to get those clicks. I was like, oh, this is this is what Concord should if if correcting this, you know, they were doing paint overs of the character design, uh, mm-hmm. would have been way better, uh, more successful. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah. yeah, so there was a thread going on. And of course, people from that team was like, hey, man, I don't think this is really toxic. You know, there's, mm-hmm. you know, there's people's lives that you're kind of just pointing out, which is, was, which is true, kind of yeah. true. But like, again, yeah. an artist is able to like, that's what we do, right? We can. Yeah. modify mod you know you know I, I give think, lessons and, and it is a fail it's like come on guys yeah. like we can't no, even this, mention the it's same a fail. person no yeah. the same person that did that actually amended the post right and was like look yeah i understand blah blah you know and and added more context the more nuance right um and and that's the thing right you just gotta be think thoughtful right you could do all of that it's the difference between like somebody gives you some art to critique or turning in some work to you or whatever yeah, yeah. and you look at it, you're like this is shit and you just throw it back in their face yeah. or do you guide them through how to make it better in with more with a more nuanced touch right like i think that's the same difference right um well and it would on, be on different the internet, if on, the, on the internet and with you made me pay 400 million. <laughs> no, no, no. You also have to take into account too, like the, the amount of toxicity yeah. that like from all different corners that got piled onto that game. Right. And so like you're getting piled on from like game from the gamers saying woke well, this and DEI that. And you're getting jumped on from people that say your shit is garbage and you get you, the game's failing. You don't know if you're going to have a job tomorrow. And then here comes somebody else in your profession, like shitting on it. Right. So, so like you have to take all of that into account. Right. And how, how do you go about critiquing it given all of that other nonsense around it? Right. Um, again, uh, social media is not the place for nuance and, and thoughtful discourse. It's just not. Yeah. Right. You know, well, let's kind of take at least the lessons based on facts, right? Yeah. From the past year, I guess, with those two games especially. All right. Which which yeah. had kind of like bad reception before the game release, right? Mm-hmm. A toxic community, sure. But like, <laughs> let's just You're say sure. critical, critically ill-received, right? Before the mm. pre-release, right? And let's predict what the next success in Creed will be like, right? Uh, I'll go first. <laughs> so the next Assassin's Creed is, I, initially, I was super oh. excited about it, right? It, Why? it was t- taking place in feudal Japan. I'm a huge, Why? I'm a huge fan of Tenchu, right? I love Why? that franchise, right? So I thought Assassin's Why? Creed, Ninjas. Why on earth did you think an Assassin's Creed game in Japan would be anything like Tenchu. I don't understand. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> well, you're, you're assassinating has, people and you're a fucking Ubisoft, ninja. It's like, Ubisoft, how? What has Ubisoft done to give you any sort of confidence? Hey, man. Some of the, I, I, I like some of those Assassin's Creed games. I haven't played every single one. Oh. Some of and exactly yeah. exactly that that the you pirate so one why. I still want to play. As hell. I haven't you're gotten to it. Hell, that's why. Yeah, yeah. The American Revolution. I am tired. Hey. But I, you know, they, I, I do like the fact that they decided not to release it every year and give it some breathing room, right? Yeah. But anyways, initially, right? And I think everybody was on the same page. Just like, oh yeah, Assassin's Creed Japan. I can't wait. And then uh, the biggest problem right now is the, the Yasuke player, right? But then even besides that fiction, I think gameplay wise, it's going to start having the same similar issues that we're seeing with star wars outlaws um i think a lot of the problems 
maybe partly is contributing to why it's got delayed to February of next year. Right? It was supposed to release soon or already, right? This year. It, but, well, it's going to release like closer to the end of this year, like Christmas. No, Christmas. No, February. No, it got pushed back February. I, I know because, yeah. because, and that's what is, yeah. has, that's, well, that's one other thing that has helped Ubisoft stock go into the gutter. But yeah. Yeah. Well, that's another. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's Ubisoft's whole not doing thing. great. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, I think this game is going to fail, right? And I, <laughs> I, I'm saying unfortunately because there's going to be a lot of developers, uh, again, beginning of the year. I mean, if not already from the Outlaws team, right? This is not tracking well for Assassin's Creed, right? So I yeah. think with a big company like Ubisoft announcing another huge round of layoff. It's like, it's delaying again, this recovery so, status of the industry. Uh, so hold on. Unfortunately. Okay. So hold on. Hold on. It's going to fail. I, I don't think that's any doubt that it's going to probably going to fail. Right. And, and they're giving it more time to cook because they looking at it and they're like, look, when we come, we can't just be pushing out games that are half, half ass, they have to be on point in this day and age, given all the things that we have to compete with, right? Um, but then when it comes to, like one of the traits Ubisoft has had for a long time, um, which makes it a pretty decent place to work for over, over time, was that, you know, they never laid anybody off. Sure. Never. Sure. Even when games flopped, you know, never. Uh, and they had dead rosters of people on the bench. They have many games in development. They can just rotate people around. Um, and part of that's because, you know, the government, the government money hits nice, right? Like developers are way cheaper when the when the government's paying for some of their salaries. And so it's a lot of help. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a lot of help on the bottom line. Um, but they did have a layoff during this recent bottom out of things yeah. it was kind of quiet or it was a really very i didn't hear loud noises about it but it but, but it happened right for, and for the first time in years like it, it, like they don't lay anybody off in an industry that's notorious yeah. for people being laid off after projects and things like that right and so now with the with this latest delay right if anybody gets laid off if there's any sort of cutback at you at ubisoft this go around it's going to have nothing to do Oh, well, maybe very, maybe some, but it, but it's not the main factor of why layoffs need to happen, right? Yeah. Um, the, the stock price is in the shitter. They, they did, they just had their fiscal year report, and, and they, they cut back on their guidance because they're pushing uh, Assassin's Creed into next year. Um, there's investors that invest in the company that want the Gimo brothers out. They those said those are the original founders, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, they said that publicly like a couple months ago and that started the slide on the stock price. Add to that, add to that the fact that game every game, every game they come out with, it is a formula, right? It's legitimately a formula that they just keep trying to repeat over and over again. No, no real new ideas, nothing really interesting, right? As so you pile. Yeah. You pile all of those factors on top of one another. The stock price is like twenty dollars, and it used to be. I think it's down like six hundred percent over the year. It's something crazy, right? So, like, they're hurting for all sorts of different reasons. And so, if the game flops, which, which, like, it's going to flop. Like, the game's going to flop, right? But I, I don't want people running around saying, "Oh, the game flopped, and now Ubisoft's no more. It's all the game's fault." It, it, no, it, this company's been in trouble for the whole year, right? And, and, <laughs> and it has not looked pretty for them. Oh, I take that back. It, it's at $10 now, right? Um, year year to date, year to date, they're down 55%. Um, you know, over the last year, 60, 66% down, five years, 83% down. Like they're having a horrible few years, right? And and there's investors inside that want the want change in leadership, and their games are uninteresting, to, to put it nicely, right? Yeah. So like so like they're 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 hurting they're hurting big time, you know. 
And and if they're here, if they're if it's still the same company next year, I'll be surprised. I think people getting laid off is the is the least of Ubisoft's worries right now. So you so the government aid their past profit, whatever, is enough, you think, to take these major flops? Um, they've taken they've taken many major flops so far over the years. <laughs> There's been so, games they've made that have flopped like numerous times, right? But I think now it's worse because of the. the what was the last Ubisoft game before Star Wars? It's been years, hasn't it? No, like, well, there's always Just Dance and there's probably some Rayman game. I, I can't, I don't even know what the last game that came out with was. Um, probably a Division game or something, or Tom Clancy uh, game, or I don't know. Let me look that up. Because I'm interested. <laughs> because it's one of those things where it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like almost Xbox. It's like, this, when was the last big Xbox uh, game? Hold on. Right? Wait, what? The Beyond Good and Evil? Uh, Avatar. Oh, that's, that's, oh, yeah. Sure. Avatar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that was a big game. That X, I think it was X, actually a little X more Defiant. successful. X Defiant flopped. Um, how did Avatar do actually? I think the last oh Prince of Prince of Persia was good. Uh, the the, side the scroller, last, the, the yeah, but those round. are the small games. Like I'm talking about the yeah. big, like crazy games. Assassin's uh, Creed Mirage, you know. Um, yeah, they're having a tough time. The crew, the crew, settlers. Like I would yeah. love to kind of yeah. say yes, it's the brothers or whatever, right? It's mm-hmm. the old guards. That mm-hmm. is failing to adapt to today's standards. Yeah, yeah, but like, I'm I'm not always. It's funny how I shifted over the years. I think everyone's at fault, right? I don't think the devs are always clear of conscience, right? I mean, it used to be like, oh, it's just the leads, no. right? Right, no, but like, it works. Do you know how they make games of yourself? I no, do I don't. Know? But I have to assume okay. there are designers outside of the studio no. heads, right? No. So how does it go? No, 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 Explain no, look, to me. Break it down. Break look, it down. Yeah, yeah. You design your game. You have you, 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 your hot shot. You come up with your little game ideas. Yeah. Um, it goes to a, and this is why all the games are the same. It goes to a game committee. design committee, and they give you feedback. They give you feedback on your game and the things that you should add to your game and things like that, right? And they all suggest the same shit, uh, <laughs> right? And then you go come back and you could take you could take um the advice or not. But of course, these are the same dudes that are signing the, the green light checks and, and making sure that the team gets funded. So you're gonna do what they say, right? And then the same patterns emerge in all the games. And that's why all the games are the same, right? Because it's a very it's a very focused lens that everything gets passed through, right? Um and like, and this is how it works there, you know. I see. And um, so it is how it works then. It, it yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like one of the one of the cool things about that is there's a lot of companies you work for where the the executives or the C suite or the guys at the loose. very top yeah. have n- not not lo- they have no idea yeah. what you're doing or they have no idea what a game is or no idea what makes a game fun or have no game ideas at all, right? Where like Ubisoft, it's, like it's, those it's dudes, guys. Yeah. Those dudes play are games and, yeah. and they're passionate about games, right? Do they just um, play their own games? Is what <laughs> <laughs> they don't still play any of But but you you see you see the same the same patterns emerging, you know. And then there was a time, you know, there's time where the band aid was every game has to be, you know, games as a service on online and all that stuff. And and, yeah. and so there was that that phase where everything was the same that way too. Um these things are mandated if you want to get your game green lighted, you know, and the fact that these smaller games like Prince of, Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown or game, even like even like X Defiant and Skull and Bones, like I'm surprised that, that like, those, are, those are those are like those are like high exceptions. Yeah, I will get credit. Yeah. X Defiant had a very surprising uh, reception, like a lot of people I, I remember kind of skimming through that uh, the numbers were coming back really great. Like that team, I know it's been long in development, but to get into that space, like Call of Duty space with anything is super tough, but they kind of were able to uh, make a name for themselves a bit 
um, there were things about it that people were really uh, receiving very well. Um, you don't know. <laughs> well, I will say X Defiant out of all the things that we talked about, the Star Wars, this Yasuke thing, any of Assassin's Creed, um, Avatar, right? X Defiant out of that crowd had very, had more positive. I think Avatar had reception. more positive reception than like X Defiant. Everybody was like, what is this? Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know anybody that was like, oh man, the X Defiant. I'm hyped. I, you know, I was seeing I like streamers and people like actually kind of like, what? Yeah. Maybe I, I'm, I'm yeah. fogging it up because it's been a while. Yeah, let me look at it. Like, I'm surprised it's still running. You know, it's a mixed bag. And I think the yeah. other part is oh, so, other okay. One. So let me read this real quick. It had uh, initial success, had a remarkable start, uh, breaking Ubisoft records by reaching one million unique users incredibly quickly after its launch. This suggests a strong initial interest, a positive reception from the gaming community. Positioning as a potential contender. See, that's what I heard. I right, critical exception according to reviews like AG, IGN. Eh. Games fundamentals were good, but struggles with eh, blah, 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 blah. player sentiment, you know, uh, social media, mm. celebrating genuine skill progression, all this. So there was, yeah, so I am remembering, right? There was a, like a genuine like celebration, one like fastest one million from for a new franchise, basically, sure. right? Yeah. I mean, that. I don't I don't remember anything about Avatar saying anything <laughs> about anything, dude. Look, people say it look, like it looked gorgeous, right? It looks really It nice. did look gorgeous, of course. Yeah. And I, I have to say Ubisoft makes open world games that look good, right? Mm. Um, but like the game systems have been failing. Like you mm. said, designed by committee, uh yeah. literally, uh <laughs> is not working out. And I think there's I think there's also been kind of like a a leeching of talent, you know, people have moved on to other things, people moved on to different teams and, and it's just hard to keep that core yeah. team together. Yeah. Uh, I see. So like all the great talents are being spread too thin. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's sad to hear that it's uh, surely going to be a bad game, <laughs> but I think that's going to be a final nail to I'm something, pretty, man. No, I don't I'm, think it's going to be certain. business usual. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that it's not going to be. I think some heads will fall after that game release mm -hmm. and suck. Like, there's no way that Ubisoft is like, oh, all right, let's try again. There's going to be mm -hmm. some layoffs. There has to be. Two big games like that failing uh, right after another is... Uh, I mean, and, and we're talking about the delay, dude. I mean, I'm looking up the date. Of original release date was in November, a month from now. November to February, which is the new release date. That's not much, man. We're talking about like three weeks with all the Christmases and holidays and New Year. You're not talking. You, you, wait, you you're not making really, anything. You think, you think there's a Christmas for that? Thing this year? <laughs> I'm on, just man. saying. You've done this enough. <laughs> I'm, done I'm this. saying even with Crunch, uh, reluctantly, you're not going to get a nod of like creativity, you know, that's going to turn. the. You're talking about bug fixing at that point. It's crazy. Right? You're not it's designing gonna be, anything. The game's gonna not going to be, gonna be a ho, ho, horrible Christmas. Uh, yeah, it's just about fixing bugs at that point and trying to make it so that you're not falling through the world. Right. You're not doing anything. Um, really? You think so? <laughs> there's no design or anything they're gonna be doing that's gonna change the game so? around. Yeah, there's no. You don't think somebody, somebody, somebody's gonna be like, "Yo, I got an idea." <laughs> I, you know well, I hope cool? so. You know, what I hope would be so. Cool if we added just make fucking touch you, dude. What else you want? <laughs> it's so hard, dude. No nah, man, it's an assassin game. You, you can sneak up on people. It's just... People want tension, dude. Let's make tension. I think that that IP, like I've played a lot of those games, and like and I've enjoyed them. Valhalla was the last one I played on. Valhalla's good, man. Valhalla, Valhalla that's what I mean. Yeah, Valhalla's, Valhalla's one good. that I wanted. Right. I think I actually bought it. That's the one I and, bought. And Black Flag, Black Flag's good, right? Yep. The, those two, I heard good. a lot of good things. How about the American um, Revolution one? Was that okay? That's what I didn't play. Like like after Valhalla, Too much. I, was, yeah. I was like, I'm good, guys. Thank yeah. you. You know? Yeah. Well, it is f f impressive that they kept that Assassin's Creed franchise and pumped so many games out in terms of quantity. Like, I don't think anybody else was able to do that with open world games like that, right? Um, but like you said, there is a tiredness. There is a 
Yeah, man. Like, a slowness you know, with, with the game design. No, yeah. especially now. No, right now, there's so much games. There's yeah. so much people competing for gamers' attention, right? Yeah. And like, and you just have to come with something different and fresh, right? And a lot of these, a lot of these annual franchises that are going to make a ton of money just because of the marketing and, and their name behind them. Um, but the stakes are so high, you know, and, and, and every year it's expected to do way better numbers than the year before it. Um, and then you just look at it, you're like, oh man, this is the same thing, man. This is the same thing. Um, and like with, with the next Assassin's Creed, they're like, oh, how can we switch it up? Oh, you're two different play styles and two different characters. And, and I'm just like, um, you know, I, I really don't care, it's you know? Tired, so yeah. I'm just tired. I need something different. Like, you know, Activision black, black ops six is about to come out. And I'm like, like, yeah. why should I care? You know? Yeah. yeah. What, what games <laughs> just to kind of provide some context, have you been finding yourself either genre or franchise? What what is those games that you're into now that you're still revisiting, or you discovered recently? That this I'm a nerd, man. I'm playing all the four X turn based strategy games like Millennia, Aura, History Untold just came out. Yeah, I'm playing all those go. games, you know, because it's just a big, it's a big time sink, but it's that's what I find interesting. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm dying, but anyway. Yeah. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's a good context. I'm playing I'm playing. Wukong. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try out Space Marines. All right. Uh, I keep hearing like it's a I mean, sci-fi I, epic. I've been I've been hearing good things about it, but even then, I'm like, ah, I don't know, man. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, I've been also been playing a uh, satisfactory. satisfactory. I, I, again, another. Another like strategy game or like a uh, resource management game. And you, you're like, you're, you're like, it's kind of like all those survival games. So you start with nothing. And then next thing you know, you're building cars and like rocket ships and stuff. Um, and then like factories with the, with a conveyor belt yeah. producing different items and mining materials and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's cool. Is it um, multiplayer? Uh, yeah. You could totally play that multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So like it's those kind of games that I'm like, okay, using my brain, some strategy, right? If you're gonna come with just the some whack stuff I've already seen before, I I ain't really with it, you know? Yeah, there's just so many. I think I think that's why also I think that's why everybody's holding up Wukong as like some shining example, right? But I I think that's why a lot of people resonated with it, because it was just like it was something it was something different, you know. Well, the mythology is definitely something different. Um, I, I look at it. I'm just so amazed at the polish, to be honest. Like, uh, mm-hmm. I didn't have to download some crazy day one patch or anything. But it, I, I haven't ran into any bugs to have that many boss fights, epic boss fights, and not have any crazy lag or falling through the world or something that just mm-hmm. completely stopped me from playing. Uh, that is quite an achievement or a team that is a quarter, right? Even probably less that it, uh, like a God of War te- team, right? Yeah. Um, but but really also about it, like that game, like looks presents itself as being very epic. Yeah. But it's, it's very focused. Super you know focused I mean? for sure. Yeah. And, and, and that's how like they, they're able to fool you into thinking it's like some big grand thing. Um, and it's just really well executed. Right. Um, and really focused on what the game's about. Yeah, yeah it, it kind of made me um, kind of go back, uh, like have a call back to the Batman games, right? Because the Batman games, before the Batman games, it was a weird period of a lot of unpolished, buggy games, right? But when you play the Batman game, I remember that moment, I was like, oh, this is like back into PS2 era or PS3 era game where it's super polished, everyone's thought out. And it's like the first time too, where Batman two and Death Batman three of that series was like, "Fuck you, we're not starting over. You don't have amnesia as a character. You have everything that you had in the last game. We're gonna do more." It's like, "What? <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> That's crazy." Uh, uh, like, yeah, like Soul Reaver, I played that right, and Soul Reaver had that 
every game you're like suddenly you're like i lost all my powers i must regain i was like why yeah i spent so much time getting this but batman was still i think is the only game that builds off of its previous games and you don't have to start over that's pretty yeah that just takes a whole level of game design it really forces the game designers to like push themselves to make it more right mm. and that's why i feel with wukong it's like it's not trying to cheat that formula right it's just like just building up your character you're looking forward to the boss fights it frustrates you but there's a formula to the boss fight it isn't random like difficulty mm. right there's a strategy to beating them each and every one and it's just like man you, and it's the grinding actually is fun and i haven't been yeah. As, Actually, as I, I found I found Wukong like way easier than any Demon Souls or yeah, it's approachable. Yeah, I I haven't been too much in the Demon Souls games. I haven't played yeah. it as much, right? So to me, this is like a good introduction to those type of games yeah. because I, I I have Elden Ring, and I heard mm -hmm. it's like the hardest game ever made. Right? I was like, uh, ah. I I, yeah, I want to go. I want to go that far because I think <laughs> Elden Ring is even easier than some of the early Demon Souls and Dark Souls games. Yeah. But but Wukong is like way easier than all those games. Right. Right. Um, so I, I I say that, and some people are like, "What you mean?" Right. But like, <laughs> it's it's true. Like, it's it's way way easier. Um, well, I look forward. Now I'm introduced to that yeah. genre stuff. Where like, all right, now I I got to yeah. really check this out. If this is how it's like. But yeah, I'm with you, man. Like in terms of games, there's just so much to pick from. And, uh, un uh, you know, Wukong, it, it's, it's, it is a great game. But like what it means to, to the game dev community is a, and gaming community is a little bit, it's pretty impactful because we're going in this direction, right? Like Ubisoft is going like bigger, crazier, right? More expensive. Mm -hmm. And tremendous flop right like speaking to basically the last two years that the game industry is like these games everyone's being laid off right uh, mm. it's like this is the direction that we keep on going that's the problem and then something like wukong comes out that mm. is more focused still a big budget but way lesser than 400 million right mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not 400 million uh i think they made 400 million day one right that's what i'm yeah. talking about uh but yeah, uh yeah. And, and, and 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 it's coming from a chinese company where the chinese industry is known for just making mobile games because that's mm -hmm. that's where the money is and triple a is a waste of time they but like well, now yeah. it's re making them rethink things so it's like oh well, wukong. well I, don't, I don't know if i don't know if wukong by itself because they because when they made when they were when it set out to make wukong they were told that they were told yeah. Why are you making? <laughs> Why are you doing it's this? A, make a mobile game, and which they and were, what? yeah, no, and they did make mobile games in order to get money to make, make this, Wukong, right? Yeah. Um, so, but but um, but yeah, and I, I think people we we ignore, um, like we talk about AAA and flops and spending all this money, but there are small games that start small, build a community, work alongside the community, work in early access for years. Satisfactory being one of those games that was in early access for for a long time. Yeah. Um, and and building up based on community feedback and things like that. Right. And 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 these are way more sustainable ways of making games, right? But it's because these things are not games that suck air out of the room, but they're games that are profitable or 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 allow their developers to continue making video games, right? Like um Hades too and like there's so many examples of like just really sticking to your community and building and, and not going crazy. And and then we, but then when all these big budget AAA games and the bottom falls out and, and they're not doing anything interesting, but we've said that AAA games haven't really been doing anything interesting for a long time. We've been saying this for a while. We've been saying for a while that the teams who were getting too big, we're saying for a while that they're spending too much money. Right. Um, but then it was like, but look, it's working. So like, what do you, what the hell are you talking about? You know, and now, and it's just now that chickens are coming home to roost, you know, and they're like, oh, like, is this really the right way? And I think what's, I think what's going to happen is I think a lot of the AAA, AAA games, what's going to end up happening, you're going to get less of them yeah. and they're really going to hunker down 
and the budgets will even blow up more, <laughs> right? Because they're like, oh no, we got to make sure that this is the one, right? We're going to focus. We're not going to make five different games at the same time. We're going to make sure this is the one that knock your socks off and make all the money, right? Um, I, I, I feel like I feel like people can react that way to it, which will be like a really bad um, outcome, in my opinion, right? Yeah, I will say this, and to kind of put an asterisk. Yeah to what you just said, right? I, I think it's just the Western AAA games that have been failing miserably, right? We always kind of champion Nintendo, but like you're seeing a lot of success with Capcom, not Square Enix. Square Enix, you know, they never are satisfied with any money that they ever made. <laughs> it's like we made, we sold 13 million copies. And I'm like, Capcom, like... like Capcom you, had... Street Fighter. No, not to Street Fighter. All their remakes for uh, uh, Resident Evil, uh, any games that they made. So the this remakes? is how the remakes. Are? I will say this, right? So I'll, I'm, I'll look this up. I'll quote it correctly, right? But um, but they are during this two years of like panic, layoffs, massive layoffs, mostly with Western Studios. I would say almost all of them, right? Mm. Capcom not only did not they didn't lay anyone off, they have raised the base salary of everybody in their company because of such a great year. And the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the, the CEO even commented saying like, we want to keep our team together. This is how we build great games by keeping the core team together, recognizing that. And uh, we want to reward them, you know, because we did have a great year and mm -hmm. uh, we want to raise the standards. Right. And this is, uh, what a fantastic! And then that's why this past couple of years, in contrast, has been such a great success for Easter game development uh, uh, industry, right? Because uh, on the backs of the Capcom and all, you know, Nintendo's always doing their thing. They they're they're fine, right? But then you have this like blossoming um, company out of Wukong at, for the AAA space, at least, right? Um, that 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 just happened at the you know in the summer. Right. We're, we're seeing like this total opposite, this polar opposite effect that's happening where uh, the triple A scene in the other side of the world is doing amazing things. Right. Um, and, and a lot of it's probably what you're saying. Right. They, they are their Their team size is usually quite smaller. Right. Uh, game design, if anything. Right. They're, they've just recently, obviously. Uh, caught up with graphics. I feel like there was like kind of like a dead period with Japanese companies where they couldn't figure out how to make their game look as good as the Western companies, right? Lately, they've they've definitely gotten there with all these Dark Souls and Wukong. It's like, all right, now they're like at a point where we don't care as much, right, in terms of graphical fidelity of ruining the game. But their game designers are freaking have always been awesome, and it's really sh shining through. Uh, even with all these remakes, yes, it's like Resident Evil remakes, right? But it's selling a lot because I think a lot of gamers are wanting that high production value, right? Uh, but without the shitty game design, which is what we've been getting with the Western stuff. It's just falling flat, man. Like, I was making fun of it at the beginning of this, how, you know, your character hiding in the shrubs. It, it, come on, man. At a certain point... What are we doing? Like, this is like, you don't need pretty graphics to test that shit out. You know, it's like, this is not working. Like, stop <laughs> updating the characters. <laughs> Let's figure this out. Right. But that that's the stuff that I think why gamers are really leaning to the communities uh, building with the indie developers, the Eastern games, right? The Wukong and all these uh, Japanese games, because they are a real focus on game systems. Nintendo, you know, imagine Nintendo releasing anything like Star Wars Outlaw, right? Where <laughs> like someone would get killed, you know, uh, during pre-production. Yeah. I don't, I don't even think they're even capable. I know, but like there's a smell yeah. test that, or standard in pre-production where they don't go too far off the ranch when the game design isn't there, right? And they've always done that, right? On that other side of the ocean. But Western games are like really deprioritized game design uh, and, and really highlight all this graphical bells and whistle 
Because most of that money, let's be honest, $400 million is never towards the game design department, right? It's always everything else is the bull, the bullshit. Well, no, no. No, you're saying everything else. Just say what it is. It's to, it's to you guys. <laughs> to me. It's to you guys. The environment team is uh, 100 people, man. We got a lot of mouths to feed. Somebody, somebody was, yeah, somebody was, saw a presentation or something about Tekken, the, the latest Tekken 8, and like, and the cost. Of a of a Tekken character, and like those numbers are bananas, and it's yeah. because of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you want good looking guys or what? What do you want? Yeah, it's because, of, it's because of artists, right? Taking like two months. You want to see the veins break. and this muscles <laughs> popping? <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you get punched. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Um, so yeah, that's what it is, right? Because when you're when you're in the arms race, yeah. You know, making that content is just is getting crazy and crazier. And that's why everybody's so hyped on the AI, right? Yeah. Because they're like, oh man, can I reduce this content creation cost? You know, can I can I get rid of some of y'all? I think um, you know, yeah. people are I'm, juiced about that because it's the hugest cost. It's it is the content. hugest cost. But I'm 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 yeah. I think it is the wrong focus because no matter it's yeah. not people are looking Obviously. Yeah, that's like it's like, yeah, you yeah. can make this AI and shorter but you know how it is with mm-hmm. if it takes a shorter amount to make something i'm gonna make a thousand of it and it's gonna end up being longer in the end right which is the problem with artists and i yeah. i'm I, speaking from an artist's perspective is like we need a muzzle on these guys <laughs> it's like it's getting ridiculous uh because it, it's taking uh it's a distraction at this point and i hope a lot of these reset this reset that we're going through right now uh, studio founders or investors are finally looking at this like, hey, maybe we don't need that many pixels, dude. Uh, <laughs> maybe not, not, not as much polygons. Let's. What is the game again? Like, let's ask the right questions. I hope this is part I mean, of that because I, I mean, think we've seen that though. The AI we've seen stuff. That. We've, is... seen that. we've seen that in the indie space. Why? Because well, the indies have less money, right? And so they yeah. got to be smarter with how they use their money. Like we've seen it already. Yeah. We know what it is. But then when you're like, hey, I want to make a big blockbuster thing, and I. Like, there's no middle ground anymore, right? Yeah. There's no like, hey, give me five million dollars to make a cool game, right? It's like five million. That seems kind of low. Um, yeah. and or if you're like, hey, give me a hundred thousand, they're like, oh, hundred thousand, that's cheap. Here you yeah. go, go, go make your dreams, right? But five million, uh, what are you really making though? Yeah. But then it's so then it's like, oh, I have to jump from hundred k to now I have to like, oh, I'm gonna make the next four hundred million dollar epic, right. yeah, right? And then it has, and then. There's a certain expectation for how it looks. There's a certain expectation for how much you spend on art and how 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 those pretty pixels look. You know what I mean? Um, it's 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 an arms race, you know, and, and especially at that level, you can't say, "Hey, I want to I want to charge sixty dollars and seventy dollars for this game. I'm going to take three years, and it's not going to be uh, photorealistic, you know, and and super crazy looking, right? You, you just you just can't, right? Yeah. Or you just take, or you taking a huge gamble if you do. Right? Yeah. Well, I, I hope. Um, I hope we don't go that direction any further, man. If if this is not the time, if people are looking at AI, it's like, no, oh, now I can make more art. And it's like, no, dude. No, but that's why they're so hyped. That's why they're so hyped. It's like it's so oh, I can make because I think we're hitting that that maximum limit for like how crazy we could get like with the time that we have. And it's like, okay, now it's time to like, how do we optimize the hell out of that? Yeah. Well, making things look good. I hate to say this, man. It's way easier (laughs) now than ever, right? But making a good game. Is it it though? (laughs) I think it's a lot easier than making a good game that actually. uh, Yeah. Well, nobody really knows. Nobody really knows what. Yeah. That's more of an enigma. That's more, uh, you know, Creativity, in my opinion, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and that is what the Western games have been struggling with, in my mm-hmm. opinion. You know, yeah. uh, and uh, thankfully, the indie guys are finding a pathway to keep the game industry sustainable, in my opinion. But uh, everyone else, oh my God, it's gotten worse. It has gotten worse. $400 million for Concord, dude. I look at that game, it's like, why? It's like, why? Where? How? 
You know what I mean? It looks you know, good, but four hundred million dollar good, dude. That's like, nah, man. You know, people have to eat, right? Get people got to get paid, and even, even though even it's though a, you're it's even though it's straight seven, up criminals, seven dude. Years, <laughs> yeah, you're still getting paid. That, that game, I think, was seven years in development. Right? Yeah, it was like yeah. eight years. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> oh my god, dude! What mm. the fuck? I hope some some guys are are driving in with their Lamborghinis, man, <laughs> being sad about their one day notice or something. I was like, well, at oh. least I have still my Lambo. <laughs> because if you're just eight years, just you know, driving in with a Honda Odyssey, right? I was like, where did that money go? <laughs> it's like, come on. There's a you know, there's a lot of reasons. I'm sure there's a lot of reasons where you know, if you know knew what was going on behind the scenes, you'd be like, ah, oh, I see, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it'd be interesting to. Uh, I know that story ha- haven't ended. I mean, we haven't officially seen any crazy LinkedIn layoffs from that mm-hmm. studio in the result of that game, which is which is kind of bizarre, man. For to for to uh, to 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 announce the refund that quickly. And mm-hmm. uh, you know you would expect like oh we got to size down no, quickly no, after it was yeah. you no know, it was I think it was they cut it off really quickly so that they didn't spend any more money on it you know what I mean but and, people you know, are servers, still there servers are not cheap right and and and, and uh, it's clear I think that they're going to reboot it I think it's obvious that they're like we ha- we have to have another shot at it and reboot it and now they're just being quiet about it i'm waiting. just surprised no one got laid off so i'm doing some quick math man hey i'm no mathematician <laughs> but i'm asian but like eight years 400 million dude that's that's like that's a cost of 4.2 million a month right if that yeah, team is uh, still intact as as possible Four million a month still. Like that's why I'm surprised that I haven't heard like, oh, at least on LinkedIn. I mean they're owned by it's owned by Sony, man. Sony ain't happy about that. Four point two million. Well, like, I'm sure no, I'm sure they're not happy about it, but but I'm sure they're like, okay. They that they, they're shuffling there's things a, around, tax right off. Um there's an hourglass ticking away and they're like, all right, like What's up, right? I'm sure that that's what's happening right now. I'm yeah, sure but I'm happening. I'm looking with the magnifying glass. I'm looking at that team as yeah. like we keep all of them? everyone. <laughs> it's like I'm looking at Concord and I'm looking at the team. I'm like everybody. It's like even that guy. What did he do? <laughs> it's like get rid of that guy. Uh, well, Sony. Funny enough, I um just to end it real quick. Just this one last comment. I do feel like Sony have been bulletproof, but have been kind of hitting a few misses. And it's it's creating mm-hmm. a trend, uh, you know. The Last of Us Two never happening, mm-hmm. yeah, for many reasons. That was a big thing, yeah. right? Uh, the Bungie it's, guys yeah. um, being supposed to be like this MP god that they were counseling all these projects. All right, it's I'm going to say something of- that that no one's saying, right? So Bungie, we know by now, right? Was overspending had this like crazy news buyout you know overly priced themselves and sony got a bad deal out of it sort of right because it it, they haven't been able to produce anything but like a destiny expansion however they had this expertise in m multiplayer right for whatever reason they think they do right and then then sony's using them to kind of (laughs) be this committee right to 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 kind of like uh pivot sony into a multiplayer space that they've never been before right and since then publicly at least right last of us 2 or last of us multiplayer didn't amount to anything right and then we have this concourse so you have to think right the Bungie deal happened for like five years so far. They Hell are divers. Hell Divers 2, by the way. Hell Divers 2. I see Hell Divers 2. You know why I felt like Sony and Bungie had nothing to do with it? They were like, oh wow, this is surprising. <laughs> <laughs> and it was good, right? So they can't give that credit to them, right? But I will say, right, the eyes of Sauron was definitely on Concord. You know, the shit of the, you know, Bungie was playing testing out that and saying, yeah, this is good. It was awesome. All right feedback feedback right so they were hand holding that project to failure right let's be real that's all that yeah. happened 
right? No, they no, were no. focusing on that project, no, and no, they no, said no. that it was thumbs up, ready to go. No, so what does no. that? No, what is that? No, I think Sony trying to reach out into games as a service in general, yeah, was a mistake. Yeah, period. That's it. That, that's well, the answer. Well, it's definitely a mistake right? now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but that's the answer, right? Yeah. Like it's it, it was just like they're following a trend, yeah, which is almost always bad idea. Um, because you're following a trend. You, you should be instead telling people where the new trend is at, right? Um, and so they're following a trend and they gotta build up studios, they gotta acquire people, and it's just not their wheelhouse. Like their wheelhouse is those those single player experiences. Narrative, yeah, polish. And 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 I think what it really shows more than anything is that they were like, We we have to show growth here. We have to grow here because they're hitting up. That's why you all these Sony games are now coming to PC, right? Because they're like, Yeah, like we're the kings over here, rerun this. But we need there's other platforms where we can grow onto, and so they want to grow onto PC. Acquired Nixies that does all the PC ports for all the all the PlayStation titles, right? And then and then this whole games as a service thing, um, you know, some bean counter did the math and the projections, and they're like to the moon, baby growth. You know, we're going to the moon if all this works out, and it just didn't work out. You know, and, and and it's why because one of the things is it's not their strong suit, it's not their, it's not their bag. You know, and there's probably some friction with bringing on Bungie and other people. Like you know, and it's just it's just it's. I think everybody was just overextended. You know, and that's and you end up that's where you end up. Yeah. Well, let's 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 quickly explain, right? Mm-hmm. the 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 value of this overextension right <laughs> just just a quick math right walk with me no, no, right the potential value is enormous and so then you're you're in the you're in a time when money's free everybody's investing investing for the future taking huge risks everybody's doing this right you're you're one of your competitors is is going to the supermarket and buying everything up out of there Yep. And you looking around going, oh no, what else? What am there? I gonna what am I gonna do? <laughs> right? What else is Concord? There that right? <laughs> and hey. bunch of what else you been doing? It was, Nothing. It was clearly, right, come here. It was clearly a vision of like this is a sex segment of games that we we don't dabble in very much. And like let's let's go into that realm because the potential upside is huge, right? It's a it's a risk, right? Yeah. Um, but it's a it's a calculated one, but it's a risk. But again, like I said, it's also falling, they're kind of following a trend, which kind of tells you. You're like, ah, I don't know if this is gonna work out for you. You know what I mean? Um, where their where their strengths are is in that single those single player experiences, right? Yeah. So I'm I'm um, interested to see yeah. how are they gonna correct this misstep, right? But to quickly go over the numbers real quick, right? So they yeah. bought Bungie for three point six billion dollars. You're not gonna make the money back, dude. They're not gonna make the money back. They haven't shown yeah. anything. Microsoft uh, is not gonna make the money back for how much they paid for Activision. Either. Exactly right. But let's just stick with Sony right now. Uh, we know <laughs> Concord. We know Concord cost them four hundred million dollar in development, but they had to buy outright Firewalk Studios from probably Monsters. All yeah. right. So, and if they were two hundred million dollar for that game, you know the the value of that company was probably more than that so they paid more than 200 million at this point Mm -hmm. maybe close to even twice that 800 million to a bill maybe for the studio and concord so far right and you add on to uh uh well yeah just those two deals right um Mm -hmm. that is a lot of money that uh haven't amounted to anything in the last five years right and uh, it's just insane to me that more heads haven't fallen <laughs> from the multiplayer live service department at Sony. That's a, that's a lot of money, man. Um, because even even Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard, right, which is still trying to close, right? But immediately after, is that a close night like, by now? I don't know. I don't even know. Is it officially? I think think it's official. But even at like, they bought you know for a ridiculous amount, right? Um, But like, you know, they saw Call of Duty doing Call of Duty numbers right afterwards, right? So Sony doesn't 
haven't seen any of that, right? Well, there's no like redeeming path that they've been able to capitalize on for spending basically almost $5 billion trying, uh, going down this venture, right? So I, I feel that alone, they're already looking down this dark tunnel and, and, and like continuously digging this deeper hole, right? I, I feel like their trajectory is actually kind of worse in, in terms of at least this multiplayer space than Microsoft with their acquisition. I could, you know, Microsoft is having a hard time too, but <laughs> but <laughs> they have fucking Call of Duty. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, the number one, right? Multiplayer game yeah. ever, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, and, and they have fucking Blizzard, right? It's like they're yeah. so they have these opportunities, obviously, right? They think so, yeah. <laughs> but there's nothing Sony online. Is there anything Sony online that you're excited about? Like Marathon? Like what else do they have? Helldivers yeah, three, good. maybe? <laughs> I was like, yeah. what is it? I mean, Helldivers is cool. I mean, Helldivers yeah. is great. I mean, yeah, but I do. you know, I still don't understand why they don't make a uh, so calm. So calm. Or or siphon filter, siphon, siphon filter. filter. Yeah. Uh, what else? Um, uh, kill zone. Right. Well, I know why they're not making kill zone. I still think kill zone will be dope with today's no, graphics. No, but 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 I know why they're not making kill zone. Okay. <laughs> because they're working Horizon. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like someone actually commented on that in our last thing, saying that. You know, as game devs, right, we should be more in support of original IPs and teams coming up with new ideas. And uh, instead of like trying to like, oh, well, they should make SOCOM or things that have been proven. Right. I was like, mm -hmm. ah, you know, at a certain point. Right. Uh, if you're failing so hard, you're just trying well, to find <laughs> you level also, ground again. I think the reason why we mentioned those is because the time between them is is sufficient Long enough. enough yeah. Where you're like, oh yeah, like an, another one of those is no problem. But like to next right now, Black Ops Six about to come out, and next year will be some other Call of Duty nonsense. Yeah. Next year, it's a little different. I don't need another Call of Duty. Like I just don't don't. Period. Right. Yeah. So so it's just different. Right. Um. Yeah, do I want them to make a completely new IP? Yeah, sure. I want that too. Um, yeah. It's not going to happen. All right. <laughs> well, that concludes uh, to this week's uh, roundtable. Hopefully next time when we talk, we can celebrate success, right? People think I you know, like ranting all the time. I don't, man. I like talking about how studios do well too. Right. It's there just that there, you just there are successes. And I, I talked about Wukong. I love games like that. You know, you talk yeah. about all these like strategy games that uh, there is like a resurgence uh, in a lot of these strategy games, uh, even MMO and stuff. Right. People are liking to spend quality time uh, more than just a quantity of like different <laughs> games coming out every week. So, um, you know, I'll just stop failing so hard, right? And then we can talk about that. It's not, it's not my fault. Uh, so the next time we talk, uh, hopefully we have better news. Um, there's so much we didn't even talk about. Like, I, I still didn't dig into the meta stuff. You know, I know they had their announcement. They had, like, their oh, glasses yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll save it next time. Um, but have a good night. As always, you can find Ray on X, even though he hates it. Um, uh, myself as as well if you want to add to the conversation leave the comments below see you guys later <laughs> <laughs>